Hello and welcome. This is a quick introduction video to AWS SAM Pipelines. SAM Pipelines is a new capability of AWS Serverless Application Model CLI, otherwise known as SAM CLI. It makes it easier to auto-generate secure continuous integration and deployment pipelines for your organization's CI CD system. In this video, I show how to use AWS SAM Pipelines to create a deployment pipeline for GitHub Actions. Before starting, I already have an AWS account for my development and production stages. I've downloaded and installed the latest version of SAM CLI, and I've created an empty GitHub repository and cloned it to my local machine. Now, on my local machine, first I'm going to create a new SAM application using the SAM init command. This downloads a SAM template that describes an example Hello World serverless application. Now it's time to start building my pipeline template file and to provision the AWS resources for my development and production stages. I do this by running SAM pipelines init with the bootstrap option. This takes me through a guided process to initialize my template and also create the deployment resources needed for my deployment pipeline. First I have to choose which template I want to use. I choose the AWS quick start template. Then I choose which of the CI CD providers I want to create a template for. Right now I can choose from Jenkins, GitLab or GitHub Actions and there will be more and more options coming soon. The next set of questions help me to define my pipeline stage 1 which I'll use as a development stage. It also helps me set up and create my AWS resources to run and deploy my pipeline. The first thing that is required is the stage name. I give it the name dev. Then I choose a name profile from my AWS credentials file. I choose the profile name dev, but you might choose default or a different name. Whatever you decide to choose will be the credentials that I use to deploy stage one, or the development stage as we've called it here. Next, I need to specify a region. The next prompt is for the pipeline's IAM user ARN. Since I haven't created an IAM user that the pipeline will use, I choose to leave this blank so that Sam can create it. The same applies for the execution role ARN. I leave this blank so that Sam creates it also. And again for the cloud formation role ARN. The next prompt asks if I already have an S3 artifact bucket to store my Lambda functions and the other application artifacts. I leave this blank to allow Sam to create it. If my application were using Lambda functions packaged as container images, I could configure Sam pipelines to use the correct ECR repository. I enter N since my Lambda functions will be using the zip archive package format. Then I see a summary of the answers I've given and I press enter to continue without editing any of them. Next is a summary of the AWS pipeline resources that are about to get created. I can see it's going to create a pipeline user and a pipeline execution role. It'll create a cloud formation execution role and an S3 artifact bucket. Before using SAM pipelines, I would have to have created each of these manually. Notice the output in green here. These are the AWS access key and access key ID. It's for the pipeline user that was just created. And these will need to be entered into my CI/CD service so that it's able to deploy resources into my AWS accounts. SAM pipeline detects that another stage now needs to be created to complete the template file. And this will be used as the production stage. I name it prod and I choose a name profile called prod for the AWS credential source and set the deployment region to EU West 1. Just like before, I leave the pipeline execution role on and the cloud formation role on and the S3 bucket prompt empty to allow SAM to create them and I enter N because my Lambda functions will not be packaged as container image. After a quick summary review, I proceed by pressing enter and I see which resources are about to get created for the prod environment. Notice it's not creating a new pipeline I am user. This is because the one that was created just a moment ago will be given sufficient permission to deploy into both my dev and my prod environments. I press Y to proceed and the resources are deployed into my production environment. Now the walkthrough moves on to finish building the pipeline template file. First, I press enter to accept the environment variable name for the AWS access key ID. And again for the AWS secret access key. Then I accept the name for the default branch that I'm going to use for production deployments, which will be called main. 
Next, I provide the location of my SAM application template YAML file. Now this is located here in SAM-app directory that was downloaded earlier when I ran SAM in it. Next, the template needs to know the name that was given in stage one. So in this example, I named it dev. I provide a name for my application stack when deployed to the dev stage. I repeat the same process for stage two, which in this instance, I named my prod stage. And that's it. The pipeline template file has been created. All that's left to do is provide my CICD service with the correct AWS access key and access key ID. And I can start committing code and watch my deployment pipeline in action. Jumping back into GitHub then, it's time to give it my AWS access key values. From the repository page, go to settings and then click on secrets. Next, click on new repository secret. Now I can jump back to my output from my terminal and paste in the AWS access secret key and access secret key ID. Remember, GitHub uses these to assume the role of the pipeline IAM user that was created in my first stage. This IAM user has the security permissions needed to deploy to both of my stages. The next step is to commit the code to the repository and then run a git push. Once the code has been pushed, you can jump back into GitHub and look at the repository and check the files are there. Then to see your pipeline, go to actions and you should see that an action is currently in progress. This is because we just made a push to the main branch. Click on this deployment and you can see the various stages involved in deploying this to production. These steps are defined in the template file that was created by SAM Pipelines. Once the deployment pipeline is finished, I can visit the production URL of my application found in the terminal output of the prod stage. And look, my application has successfully ran through the build, test and prod deployment stages. To learn more about SAM Pipelines, visit s12d.com slash SAM Pipelines.